All right, well, this is amazing. We have venomous snakes in the studio right now, and the reason that they're here is because Tom Hudak trains people on how to deal with them, and the issue is, is that people actually order these poisonous snakes online, correct? Illegally. It's illegal. They order them online or they go to Pennsylvania or Ohio and buy them legally. But then when they bring them into New York, they're illegal. So what you do is you train people on how to respond if you encounter a poisonous snake. Right. I, I uh, work with police and emergency responders in that regard. Okay. Now, Tom told me to calm down because I have been very uh, frantic about this interview, <laughs> as you can imagine. Which I mean, I'm scared normal. of snakes this big, to be quite honest. And these are poisonous, no less. So what I'm going to do is step back and allow you to go through the training a little bit and tell us how it works. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to try not to run away. Well, this is excellent. This is excellent because this is part of what we train. Mm -hmm. do, do you encounter people like me who are just frantic You had about one in it? the class today. Really? Yeah, animal control person, actually. Okay. And she ended up holding one. All with, right. So we want to we want to benefit our viewers and... Uh, Let's, let's go ahead and go through it. I'm going to stand right up here, even though they don't want me to. This I'm is called a, a Western curious. Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now, what stops that from not just jumping out and attacking? This is not something you'd find here in New York, but it's something that could be ordered in. They're quite inexpensive. They are Why between... would someone want to buy one? Well, some people think that they're, they're a fascinating piece of nature. Uh -huh. Other people think that they're just kind of a macho... Uh, toy almost. Could it jump up here right now? No, you? you're completely safe. Okay. Thank you. That's reassuring. Oh my God, because I can't even look at it. I'm sorry. All right, so tell us how people are supposed to respond if they come across these perhaps in the wild or wherever they are. Well, if, um, if you encounter one of these in the wild, first of all, the ones in New York tend to be more gentle, more docile than this type. Okay. This type's uh, kind of fired up. Just walk by them. Step away from them. Walk by. They're not going to chase you. They will not chase you? No. No. Okay. There are snakes in Africa that will. If you go plan a trip to Africa, I can give you different guidance. But around here, they're very shy, and you have nothing to worry about. What's the most important thing to get through in your training when you're training officers? Well, it's to understand how they feel when they're in the presence of something that can seriously hurt them or kill them. It's to have you remember how you're feeling right now. Yeah. Suppose that you're a police Clearly. officer. Yeah. You want to understand that feeling so that if you encounter them again around civilians, you can say, okay, I felt that fear before, I overcame it, and I can do that again. Right. Well, people get scared of uncertainty or perhaps that something may happen to them or they're in harm's way. Oh, sure. But you're saying that if you just avoid it and walk past it, you're okay. It won't, like if I were to walk past it right now, it wouldn't attack. Correct. It wouldn't be inclined to attack? Well, it depends on how close you get, but if you were to walk right along here, uh -huh. you'd be fine. Want to try it? No, thank you. Uh, no, I, I don't think I do. So, the, so what else do you train? Well, we train people at first to keep them. The, the emergency responder is, is my audience. Okay. So I'm training him or her to keep themselves safe, uh, keep civilians safe, but then also not injure the, the snake, which seems like a tall order, but it's really not. And it comes down to them having some practice, having some experience, and having some confidence. You would get that same confidence. Huh. If you went through that class, really? I so is it a you. long course? Um, it's the one I teach is about four hours, but it's very hands-on. It's working with this animal. Okay. It's picking it up. It's moving it about. All right. It's getting a feeling for what it can and can't do. Okay. Well, Tom, thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, yeah, right. We're out of time, but thank you for coming on the show. Thank you very and much. And bringing your snakes. We'll be right back. Oh gosh.